Today I'll run you through the spreadsheet method of importing an existing sector into CN Maestro's management tool for use with CBRS. Log into your CBRS enabled CN Maestro account, then click on Services, then CBRS. Then click on the Management Tool tab at the top. The management tool is used to register and obtain a grant for the devices prior to enabling CBRS on the AP. This is to help avoid service impacting outages if you have one or more devices that require to go through CPAS due to receiving a suspended grant from the SAS. The management tool will register and perform a grant request for the devices you import, as well as heartbeat for them for up to 72 hours, or until the device syncs with CN Maestro. This allows you to get all the devices in an authorised grant state prior to enabling CBRS on the AP. To import a sector using the sheet, click on Import Sector to open the pop-up tool. For this video, I will be using a pre-populated import sheet. I will cover the creation of the import sheets in a later video. Click on Import Excel to select the sheet for the sector you wish to import. Then click on Import Certificate and select your CPI P12 certificate. This certificate file is the one you would have received when you completed your CPI training. Next, enter the file password for the certificate and click on Import. You will now see the new sector in the management tool. Click on the sector name to view the devices you have just imported into this sector. Click Start to run the management tool to register the devices with the SAS. The management tool will update periodically during this process. You will see the device's registered status change from unregistered to registered, then grant, and then finally authorized. If you're in an area that requires the devices to go through CPAS, you may see a grant suspended state. This will normally clear overnight when the SAS does its interference planning. If the devices you have imported into the management tool have not been onboarded into CN Maestro, you will need to approve them in the onboarding queue. During the import process, any device not currently in CN Maestro is added into the CN Maestro onboarding queue. Click on the onboard icon to go to the onboarding queue. You will now see the devices that require onboarding into CN Maestro. For devices operating CVRS, you will need to make sure they have a minimum software version of 16.2. If the devices require updating, click on the update software icon on the device. In the pull down list, select the relevant software version you wish to run and then click save. Do this for all devices that require the software update and then click on approve all or approve the individual devices. Now that we have approved the devices in the onboarding queue, we will go back to the CBRS management tool. Click on Services CBRS, then the management tool, and then the sector that we have imported. To sync the configuration down to the access point to enable CBRS for this sector, click on the sync icon to the right of the access point. You'll be asked to confirm if you wish to enable CBRS on the device. Click on yes. You will now see the configuration state is config synced. The heartbeat is no longer running for the access point as the AP has now taken over the role. As you can see, the sync state for the SMs are not synced. Currently, the management tool is still heartbeating for these devices. Once they connect to the access point, the access point will take over the heartbeating for them and the status will change from not synced to config synced. Now that the SMs have connected to the AP, their sync state has changed from not synced to config synced and the management tool within CN Maestro is no longer heartbeating for them. The AP will continue to heartbeat for these devices as long as they are connected to the AP. You can also add new SMs to an existing sector in the management tool by using the import sheet. The process is the same as adding a new sector, but the management tool will only add and run on the new devices. None of the existing devices in the management tool will be altered by this process. This will allow for the bulk adding of SMs rather than the one by one process of the pop-up tool. To do this, add the new SM's details to the import sheet you used to originally import the sector and save it. 
I'll be using a pre-populated sheet again for this as I'll be covering the creation of the import sheets in a later video. Next click on Import Sector and then Import Excel. Select the updated Excel file with the new SM's details that you wish to add. Click on Import Certificate and select your P12 file again. Enter the file password and then click Import. As you can see, one device has been successfully claimed and three have already been claimed and have not been re-imported. Click on the X to close out of the tool. Next, click on the sector name to view the newly added devices. Here you can see the new SM has been added to the sector. None of the existing data for the other devices has been altered. To register this device with the SAS, click on the Start button. The device will go through the same process as the other devices. It will go from an unregistered state to a registered state to a granted state and finally an authorised state. There is always a chance that a newly added device may go into a grant suspended state and we'll have to wait to go through CPAS. If this is a new device and needs to be onboarded into CN Maestro, click on the onboarding icon on the left. For devices connecting to a CBRS enabled AP, there will need to be on a minimum software version of 16.2. Any device running software lower than 16.2 will be unable to register with a CBRS enabled AP. Once you're ready to approve the device for onboarding, click on the approval or the approve if you just want to onboard one device. Now we will go back to the CBRS management tool. Click on services CBRS and then the management tool tab at the top and the sector that the device is in. As CBRS is already enabled on the sector, there is no need to sync the AP again. When the new SMs connect to the AP, the AP will send the required configuration to them and will commence heartbeating for them. When the new SM connects to the AP, you will see their sync status change from not synced to config synced. This means the AP is now heartbeating for the SM and not the management tool.